a lovely example um, of what happens often in the Ranga mountain and surrounds Namibia. We have a, a pseudomorph of uh, girthite of the siderite. So this is would have originally been a large, uh, almost cubic crystal of uh, a siderite, which has been replaced by girthite. Uh, sitting on this crystal would be some tourmaline. I expect in this case, if you shine strong light onto the tourmaline, it wouldn't be the shell, so it wouldn't be the black tourmaline, maybe an albeite tourmaline. There you can see the underlying form of the, the cube of, uh, or the, the original siderite crystal, which has now been replaced by the uh, uh, girthite. Then on the side here, we have a variety of beryl. Um, actually, in, in some, uh, uh, on some sections, we may be talking in terms of aquamarine, but I think to be, to be safe, I'll say here we're looking at goshenite, which is the, the pretty much colorless beryl. Of course, uh, uh, beryl uh, in the various colors, you have the, the turquoise color, which would be known as aquamarine. And then you have the, the yellows as heliodor and the, the reds, um, I think, is the morganite. And then you get the, uh, um, the green, the dark green, which would be your emerald, which is all basically members of the same family, just color uh, inclusions of micro minerals causing different colors in the beryl formation. From a display point of view, quite versatile. So uh, what, what my main focus would be to, to show off the cubic formation of the whole specimen as such, because this is pretty much one uh, uh, a siderite crystal which got replaced with a few hangers on as a little bit of tourmaline. But the main focus, of course, is the siderite crystal. You can see clearly the crystal form, the cubic crystal form. And hollowed out and filled up with some tourmaline, a little bit of goshenite or beryl all the way from the Ironga and surrounds Namibia.